today i'm going to discuss uh, mathematical tools of quantum mechanics so we know the schrodinger wave equation is one of the important uh, uh, equation in quantum mechanics it has the structure of a linear equation and uh, the formalism of quantum mechanics deals with operators and uh, that are linear and wave functions that belongs to an uh, abstract Hilbert space. The mathematical properties and uh, structure of a Hilbert space are essential for the proper understanding of uh, the formalism of quantum mechanics. For this purpose, we are going to discuss uh, what is Hilbert space and uh, what is linear vector space. So, what are the properties of Hilbert space and uh, those of uh, linear operators? So, first, I am going to discuss. Uh, what is linear vector space okay so here one word is the the Hilbert space So first I am going to discuss what are the uh, linear vector space. A linear vector space consists of two sets of elements and the two algebraic groups. A set of vectors psi, pi, chi and so on and a set of scalars a, b, c and so on. A rule for vector addition and uh, a rule for scalar multiplication. Addition rules. So the addition rules has the properties and the structure of an abelian group. For example, if psi and pi are two vectors of space, they sum, which means um, psi and pi also vector in the same space. The linear vector space has property, the commutative property. Wave function psi plus adding pi equal to psi plus pi. And also, uh, it has the associated property. So wave function psi and pi plus chi equal to psi plus pi plus chi. So existence of zero or not all vector. So for each uh, vector, which means state vector, ket vector, this is ket vector, there must exist a zero vector. So, which means if you add a zero vector to the state vector and we can get zero plus chi that is equal to wave function psi. Existence of a symmetry or a inverse vector. Each vector psi must have a symmetry vector. that is minus psi such that if you add these two wave functions psi and inverse vector we can get zero 
multiplication groups multiplication of vectors by scalars scalars can be real or complex numbers as the properties the following properties are there one is the product of scalars with vectors gives another vector in general if a wave function psi and pi are two vectors of the space any linear combination of these two vectors also called a vectors of the same space so the product of a scalar with a vector gives to another vector in general here if i take the wave function psi and pi are the two vectors of the space any linear combination of these two vectors or the vectors of in the same space here a and b belongs to the scales in multiplication properties they are associated there has some properties that is distributed with respect to the addition so distributivity with respect to addition here scalar and wave function psi plus pi is equal to this wave uh, this scalar is distributed over the these wave functions now we can write a plus b into psi is equal to a psi plus b psi and associate with respect to the multiplication of the vector a into b of psi is equal to a b into psi and final properties for each element wave function psi must be the existing unitary scalar and see so in for example here i can take one unit vector and wave function psi and multiply that the unit vector and the wave function psi we can get wave functions existence of zero is already discussed with the similar properties so so what are the these all the properties the linear vector space addition groups and multiplication groups so whatever the system they follow these properties that type of system we can called linear vector space and uh, the formulation of quantum mechanics deals with uh, these operators that are uh, linear and wave functions that belongs to the Hilbert space. So Hilbert space is a infinite uh, dimensional space which contains the wave function information which gives the properties of the system. For example, uh, classically, uh, we know, for example, uh, one system is say we know that the position of this system so we require to describe this system the three degrees of freedom which is x y and z axis right so in case this system has some velocity it gives another three degrees of freedom so velocity also you know, three directions are there x y and z and three plus three it contains six degrees of freedom in case the system has a many rotation property another we can get three degrees of it right so if you increasing number of uh, uh, properties of the system you can describe the total information of the system like that we can go to up to the n dimension up to infinity dimension of space that type of space we can call that help space so this is all about the uh, linear vector space next class we are going to discuss help space properties